Hey y'all, and welcome back. Uh, thank y'all for coming back to Thirst Trap 101. It's episode seven on interacting with other pages, part A. My name is Ryan Lindsay, and this is my YouTube series, Thirst Trap 101. Welcome back, y'all. Thank you for joining me for Thirst Trap 101. Uh, it's episode seven, Interacting with Other Pages, part A. Uh, to get us kicked off, I've got a few housekeeping details that I just need to take care of real, real quickly here. And um, you know, I, I've been in the habit of, of doing a little song and dance here, but today I'm just going to ask you very seriously to please subscribe right now to my YouTube channel, Seer Sucker Stud, Thirst Trap 101. Just hit that subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. It helped me out. Help me, allow me to continue doing these episodes for you. Uh, subscribe, please, right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next thing, um, we got to promo a little bit of merch, okay? So y'all do me a favor, and right now, just look over here. Okay, y'all. It's, that's the cutest. That is the cutest. It fits so well and it's comfortable. It's so comfortable. So everybody go and get your baseball sleeve t-shirt. You can get the different colors. They're adorable. So go to seersuckerstud.com, hit the store, then it's gonna be right there. It's right near the top, the baseball sleeve t-shirt. So um, get yours, put it in your cart and buy it. This is for uh, the ladies and the gents. Everybody get your baseball sleeve t-shirt, wear it with the baseball cap. You look adorable. So um, get that baseball sleeve t-shirt. Thank you. Uh, on with our episode. So interacting with other pages A, um, yeah, it's a huge topic. I've broken it up into two episodes. And the A and the B, here's the deal. Um, the A, today's episode is gonna focus on your interaction with other pages uh, and how best to handle that in a successful way. Episode B, our next episode, that's gonna be on when folks come and interact with your page, how best to respond and reply uh, to get the most out of the, the relationship. So those are the difference, but that's the difference between A and B. Now, let's go move along with the episode. Uh, first off, uh, we're gonna talk about our, our goals, or of course, as we always do, what we are trying to accomplish with these interactions uh, with other pages. And, yeah, again, uh, you need to interact with them. This is uh, a part of, of the whole game. And so at the start, I'm gonna kind of tell you why uh, that's important. Um, next thing, our, I've divided this episode into the types of pages that you should be interacting with. Um, number one is gonna be other Sexy Thirst Trap pages. And I've got two specific things on um, what to do and how to interact with those. Um, then how to interact with, with your followers and, and those folks that um, you know really keep your page going. It's important to interact with, with your followers. I'm gonna talk about why. Um, next thing, now I know I just devoted a whole episode to submission pages, but I saved this one thing for this episode that it's important for you to go back to those pages and, and interact with them. Uh, and then finally, I've got a nice little reminder, just something uh, I want all of us to keep in mind as, as we're having fun on Instagram and interacting with, with other pages, just a big picture kind of thing to wrap our show. Okay, so first thing, I actually, I have two specific goals I'd like to discuss uh, on this episode. Your first goal, um, 
a spoiler, maybe a lot of y'all are watching these episodes because, because of this, is to get followers. So, so here's the thing, it, this is up to you. This depends on what your goal is. Are you sharing photos on um, Instagram uh, to show that you're on a fitness journey and you're just proud of yourself and, and the followers don't really matter? That's okay, that's fine. If you are trying to build a thirst trap page to um, spread your message or build your brand or grow your business, you're gonna need this. You're, you're gonna need followers. And so the steps I described today are all in that goal to bring followers back to your thirst trap page. Um, there's another goal that I think is really important um, and that's going to be actually to build a community. This has been a wonderfully nice surprise for me as I've uh, been active on Instagram uh, with the Thirst Trap page for a little over a year now. I think that I have really established a community and that's why um, I have such a good time and I enjoy it and I find it so affirming. When I interact positively with all of these other pages, that kind of creates re relationships, it, it really does. And so if you've got a community built, here's a couple of things that could happen. Number one, God forbid, let's say your page gets deleted and you've got to rebuild. Well, guess who you're going to get to be able to rely on? All of these other pages where you've been a nice guy, you've liked their stuff, you've commented, you've DM'd some funny and cute and sexy stuff. If you're in a bad place and need to rebuild, if you've got a community, they can help you. Um, an example for me personally, when I just launched my brand, I didn't have a big budget for, for a launch and to say I've got a new website. I mailed masks to, you know, about a dozen or so guys around the country. I've never met them in real life. I've just been a really nice guy to them, admire their page, like their stuff. And when I said, I know this is a big ask, but would you mind just wearing a mask and sharing, tagging me? And they all did it. And that's so wonderful. And now when they, ask me for some help, I'm gonna help them. They've helped me. Let's all be positive. It's a great community. You know, it's, it's very, very beneficial to have that strong relationship because it can come in handy when you need some help and you can help them too and you should. Um, so those are our goals. Now let's get into the types of pages you're gonna be needing to interact with. Um, number one is kind of my favorite and it's other sexy thirst trap pages. I am a connoisseur of them. Um, there's many things you can do. You should like their pictures. You should send them some um, great DMs from their, their stories. I'm focusing on two things to specifically do on today's episode. And the first one is leave comments on their photos. So in the, in the vein of getting more followers to your page, so it's great and smart to like their photo, but the person that really just sees that is the thirst trap holder. They, they might get notified and or they do get notified, but sometimes they can get lost if there's, there's thousands of likes. What's gonna possibly bring more attention to you is if you leave a smart or witty um, comment on their photograph because then this is going to be publicly visible to everyone and everyone that's commenting or, or reading the comments you know what i've already talked to you guys about you're going to have your smart or witty or sexy comment 
that people might be attracted to and like, but they're gonna see your profile picture. That's how they see your profile picture if you leave a comment and that will draw folks back to you. Look at that profile picture is sexy. Oh, and his name is Stud. Let's, you know, this is a thirst trap page. So it would not be a, a stretch to think that the folks leaving comments also might enjoy following your sexy page. So you leave comments on those sexy photos. The next thing is like other comments. Now, this one, I think I just started doing it kind of naturally because I love when people are smart and funny in the comments. I just, it brings me joy, a clever use of emojis or some funny innuendos or stuff that they're giving back um, to in response to that sexy photograph. So I like to read the comments. And when I see funny and or sexy ones, you like the comments that has uh, an effect of all of those folks that leave those comments they're going to get notified seersucker stud liked your comment then in their notifications we just talked about it they're going to see your sexy profile picture your name that has stud in it or, or whatever that is going to and for someone that is commenting on a thirst trap page, be an incentive and an invitation for them to go to your page and follow you. So on those sexy photographs of the thirst trap from your favorite thirst trap pages, read those comments and like the ones you love. You don't have to go bananas, but like three, four, five, and have fun. The thirst trap page should love it and appreciate it. That's bringing more engagement to their efforts. So um, I do suggest liking other comments. Next type of page is is your followers. Um, I, I, followers is, is what they are. Uh, I, I'm not real comfortable with fans quite yet. Um, I like to use the term uh, supporter. We're all supporting each other, so supporters. So how to interact with, with your supporters. Um, my main point, or, or first of all this, um, it is just not logical or even really fair to expect you, if you have a sexy thirst trap page, to follow every single person that is following you. You know, you're, you deserve to have a good time on Instagram too. You need to just follow a number of uh, pages so that it's manageable and you can properly appreciate them. I don't have a, a ratio or a, a figure here. I do think it should be a significant number. You shouldn't really go like A-list celebrity and only follow 15 people. Now, Unless you are an A-list celebrity and you can get away with that, then, then more power to you. But I'm in the trenches here and I need to follow quite a number of people. Uh, and so that's, that's important. What, what I really wanted to highlight here though is not kind of how many you follow, but for your followers that are very loyal, they like all of your pictures. They comment on all of them. They DM you every story. You need to follow them back. That's the least you can do. It does not matter how many followers they have. It does not matter if they don't have a profile picture. If they are a real user who is giving you respectful and consistent positive affirmation, then follow their page. And then when you see them share photographs of anything, their pets, their garden, their pizza, like it, leave a little heart comment. This is a loyalty thing. They're showing you so much love, so the least you can do is show it back, especially to those folks that are very, very supportive of, of you and, and your photographs on Instagram. Uh, next thing is, 
those submission pages. Now again, we just spent a whole episode six on those pages, but here's one thing to really consider. They've posted your photo. Um, you've, you've gone bonkers, we, we talked about that. Now you need to check back. Check back over there and see who else has left comments. Fingers crossed, there's a bunch. And so what you need to do and interact over there is you need to like all of those comments, all of them, unless it's mean or crazy or something, even if it's a little whatever, uh, dirty, like it, you know, that, that's it. I like to both like all of the comments and I reply to all of them. I don't have endless time. So this is something where you can just do a blow the kiss as a thank you to that comment, or you can give a wink. A wink's one that I like actually, because even if it's a little freaky, the wink can mean a couple things. The wink could mean, oh, you're, you're down with that, like you like it. Or the wink could mean kind of like, ha ha ha, that's not gonna happen. So I like the wink under those circumstances when it's a little weird. But again, when you are um, going back to those submission pages, liking the comments and replying to comments, that's giving out notifications to all these folks that may or may not yet be following your page. It's an invitation. It's drawing them, you're seeing their profile picture, looking at your sexy name, it's an invitation for them to come and follow your page and like your photographs. A, a little reminder before, before I wrap here is, again, Instagram is a positive, affirming community, or at least it has been for me. This t is not a competition. You're, again, of, of my prior episode, I said, you're a one of a kind, you're a masterpiece. Nobody can look as good as you do in your photos because they're not you and, and vice versa. You're not gonna look as good as these guys. So it's not a competition. Be very generous with your likes. Like a lot of stuff. Like and comment on a lot of things. Make people feel good like they are making you feel good. You do have to watch it a little bit. I think there's um, limits. You don't want to get in trouble in Instagram thinking you're a bot or something by liking 5,000 in 30 minutes. Like hold your horses there. But in general, like photos, comment on them, support others, and they will support you in turn. That's my little TED talk and reminder here, be nice on Instagram with this thirst trap world and you're gonna get the love back. Um, that's my episode on interacting with other pages A. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about, um, you know, part B, that, that's episode eight. Uh, and, but before that, you know it, you know it, now I am going to do it. I'm going to do the subscribe, subscribe. Y'all please subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, Thirst Trap 101, Seersucker Stud, Seersucker Stud, Thirst Trap 101. Either way, subscribe right now. Please text all your friends and colleagues. Seriously, the sky's a trip. Subscribe, Thirst Trap 101, Seersucker Stud. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, um, episode eight interacting with other pages B. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Somebody is showing you some love in some way. They're commenting, they're, they're sending you a DM, they're, they're coming at you, and I'm gonna tell you how best to respond or reply to them. And you know, I'm gonna give you some, some different scenarios and some, some ways they might come at you and some clever, cute or smart ways to respond so that the relationship stays positive and you make everybody happy and you acknowledge um, and show gratitude 
for the love or comments that they are bringing towards you. That is all going to be coming up in episode eight, Interacting with Other Pages, part B.